Vulcan Video Productions. Hey everyone, my name is Kyle James Hassan, General Manager here for Vulcan Video Productions. And I'm DJ Castro, General Crew Member at Vulcan Video Productions. And this is the second episode of Bomb Broadcast. And in this episode, we'll be interviewing students about the recent air conditioning issues that have been affecting UE Shilo for the past semester. Stay tuned, and I hope you enjoy the episode. Alright, hey guys, so I'm here with Drew. Mm -hmm. Correct. So here's the first three questions I'm going to be asking you for AC. So, first question is, how many times a week do you spend in the library or cave building? Um, I spend around two or three hours a week in the library at least. It's a good place to study. Um, I spend about five to seven hours. Definitely five hours in the cave building. Yeah, for math class specifically. On average, I'd say I spend about six hours a week in the library, just for studying. Um, I spend about an hour and a half pretty much every day. So, how has the lack of AC affected your studies throughout the semester? It's actually done a really, it's really detrimental to my studies because mm -hmm. going to the library and having the AC and having a nice cool environment means I can just focus on my studying and not focus on trying to find a place to study. Right. As the library had like lost its AC, it became way hotter. It's so really hard to study, right? Yeah. Okay, awesome. Well, um, going to math class compared to other classes, I definitely feel like I fall asleep in my math class because of just the heat and um, just it's actually there's a fan blowing in the class so it kind of feels like okay i'm gonna doze off every now and again where compared to other classes i'm actually more awake and more diligent and more attentive in class well lack of ac definitely has uh, put me out of focus during those times especially when i'm too busy sweating I and mean, some, at some point i would have to leave the library just to get some fresh air oh well first off um a few of my classes have actually had to move um because it was, it was just too hot in there, everyone's cramped together, it's just not comfortable. Yeah. And when I'm studying in the library, sometimes it's just hard to focus because I'm always like wiping up my sweat or I'm just distracted by the heat. And it just makes me feel um, just not focused. Has the fans affected you just hearing the fans throughout? Fans actually make it kind of better um, because, well, it's just blank noise just to listen to, but it's also just cooling me down at the same time, but there's just not enough for everything. And the third question is, did you notice a difference in your studies now that the AC is back on? Yes, I get, I'm actually been doing a lot better, I'm getting more of my homework done. It's very um, beneficial for me to have the AC. Especially for midterms, week, correct? Oh yeah, definitely. Awesome. Well, um, in my classroom specifically, the AC is actually not back on. And the one week where we had to change classes, we went to the classroom just before hours and the AC was on and already I felt a difference. I was more attentive in class. I did not feel like I was going to fall asleep. Grades wise, that hasn't affected it, but I think concentration wise, it has definitely affected that in the classroom. Oh, certainly. The time flies by a lot faster. I can focus more on like my work and it just feels like a lot more comfortable. I don't have to worry about, ah, oh, it's so hot outside, or I don't have to wipe my sweat up. It's just great because I'm not sweating perfectly. Oh yeah, definitely. I would say it's easier to, you know, keep yourself warm than cold, you know, you don't have to worry about sweating and whatnot. And, you know, even the fans would help sometimes, but at the same time, it's so loud, you can't even think for yourself. But it's definitely a lot better with AC now. Awesome. Thanks for watching this episode of Bond Broadcast. And stay tuned for our next episode. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and let us know in the comment section what topics you'd like to see in our upcoming videos. Bye!